Today we're going to be working on this 2008 Chevy Trailblazer, putting a remote start on it. These are all the parts that we're going to be using. Arctic Star Edge 1 4 button remotes, CM900 brain, and an ALCA iData Link bypass. I would usually use a blade instead of this, but we have a bunch of these, so we're going to go ahead and use them. The blade would actually go into the bottom of this. This actually connects data to data. So since it's only a few wires, we're just going to use some of these ALCAs that we have. Okay, this is the uh, bottom of the dash right here. We went ahead and popped this off with a hook tool. You just snap it up underneath here and pop these off. And uh, this is actually what the back of that looks like. When you pop it off, underneath it, you're gonna find a seven millimeter. Also underneath here, you're gonna find a seven millimeter here. And there's also a seven millimeter down there. And I believe there's, there isn't one in here. It's just seven mil down here and seven mil down here. So we're gonna remove this bottom piece and this piece right here so that we can get to the steering wheel harness on this Trailblazer. All right, now that we've removed all those, now we've got to remove that seven millimeter right there, and then there's another seven millimeter down there. So on top of having seven millimeters down here, they put an extra ones in the bottom. GM wanted to make sure that this bottom shroud never came off. All right, we pulled this off. This is the back side. There's all your snap tabs right there since we removed these two bottom sevens. Now we're going to have to remove these 10 millimeters that are on the sides to remove this lower metal shroud. Okay, these are your wires right here. We've taken off this bottom shroud. You don't need to remove this plastic. We were just double verifying our wires. But if you look over here, red is gonna be your constant. This is going to be white, even though it looks yellow, is going to be ignition. Brown is going to be accessory. This wire right here is actually pink, which is ignition, even though it looks orange. We actually tested it. Then on the other side, you have yellow, which is starter, and orange, which is accessory. Those are gonna be your wires. Um, Right back there, if you can see, I tapped that red wire, that red T-tap back there. It's kind of hard to see, I'm sorry. Right there, if you can see it, way back there, there's a red T-tap. It's the white wire coming out of the brake pedal. Um, it's very difficult to see. I don't think my camera will get all the way back there, but you can kind of see it back there. Um, that red T-tap back there is on the white wire. That is the brake pedal. Um, down here on the OBD2, this is your data wire, which is a purple wire, which we did a black T-tap on because it is a very thin wire and data wire. I would not suggest using anything but a black T-tap. If you want the parking wire, it's right behind here. I have it tapped with that black T-tap. It is a gray with a black stripe. It's right in there. So if you do want to tap the parking lights, that's where they are located. All right, this is our brain wired up right here. This is your secondary harness and your main harness. This is the data port that's coming off for the ALCA. The only two wires that you need to use off of here is an orange wire, which goes to data on the purple wire of the Trailblazer on the OBD2 plug, and then this pink wire, which goes into your ignition wire. I tap it in here just to make it easier if it has to be unplugged. Um, these are our two wires right here. Your blue with your white stripe is your brake wire. Your green with your white stripe is your parking light negative, which have been ready to go. Your ignition harness down here with all your ignition wires. And then down here is your ground wire, which has to be self-tapped into the uh, frame underneath of the uh, dash. So this is everything all ready to go. We'll clean it up once we put it into the vehicle, but that's how everything should look through us. We tape up everything with Tesla tape and make it look super nice and OEM. Okay, we've got every single thing wired up. Um, this is all gonna be cleaned up obviously, but here's our brain. Here's all of your ignition wires connected in. We're gonna clean all this up. We've got our parking light wire going up to back here where our parking lights are. We've got our brake wire going to the back back there. We've got our data wire going down here to RBD2 to the purple wire. That's pretty much everything you're gonna to need to make this remote start work. All you'll have to do now is program the remotes, which is by cycling the ignition five times and leaving it on on the fifth time. 
that will program your remotes. We've already done that and we've ran our antenna up to there. So every single thing is ready to go. Um, next step after that is we will need to program the bypass, which I will put the instructions on there on how to program the ALCA. It's very simple, it takes about 10 seconds. So that's all you gotta do and then the remote start will work. Two thousand eight Chevy Trailblazer remote start by Arctic Start. We also did keyless entry by lock and unlock on this vehicle. You hold down the key for three seconds; it will send out the signal to remote start. Parking lights will also come back to confirm with you that the vehicle's remote started by flashing twice, and then staying on constant for the remaining time the vehicle's running on the remote start. <laughs> 